Susan's the consummate public servant, uh, a patriot who puts her country first. She is fearless. She is tough. Not at all. I don't think she answered the question, did she unmask people in the Trump administration? She says, well, maybe I did, but I didn't do it for political reasons. I think it's incumbent upon her to try to prove to the American people why it wouldn't have been a political reason. If someone were investigating the Trump administration, it would be the FBI, not political people in the White House. She's a political appointee that reports directly to the president. The real question we need to ask Susan Rice is, did the president direct you to eavesdrop and sift through all of the mountains of intelligence we have? Do you know that over a million Americans' phone calls are listened to without a warrant? We need to protect American privacy and use the Constitution. We can't let political partisans like Susan Rice search through databases, unmask people, and she may not have leaked it. But what if one of her staff leaked it? What if somebody else she talked to leaked it? We can't allow intelligence to be used for political purposes. Do you believe, would you characterize the Obama administration as capable of going out of their way to, uh, to try to make the first months of the Trump campaign so rocky by putting this out there? Well, there's eventually, I think, going to be a log produced that will have Susan Rice, how many times she logged in and whose information she looked for. And this takes a while. It's so classified, I can't look at it. The White House can look at it, and so can the intelligence committees. But here's the thing. Should legislators have their phone calls listened to? If I am talking to an ambassador around the country yeah. and I have a different opinion than the president, should the president get to listen to my phone call in order to counteract me politically? That's a separation of powers issue. And the media has been kind of missing this, saying, oh, it's incidental. No, it isn't. If it's your conversation, it's not exactly incidental. It could be very important to you to keep your privacy. Hey, thank you so much, guys. Uh, thank you. Uh, Susan Rice is extraordinary. <laughs> Couldn't be prouder of the job that she's done at USUS.